Have you ever wanted to create AR experiences that allow you to take a parking lot and convert that into a augmented reality portal that allows you to walk through it like a door and explore a completely digital world that is augmented from that parking lot? Well, I'll show you how I did that. I first created a Unity project using a lot of different assets. I installed the Vuforia SDK and set up an AR scene. And then I created some content builders or containers and a door using Pro Builder. And then I created a depth mask material so that I could hide all the different containers that I created with Pro Builder. And then I was able to add my city into the AR scene using surface tracking. And I was able to test it out in my parking lot. And so with all these different things, you're able to learn this using the course that I created. It only takes you about an hour. And so let's go ahead and get it started. My name is Steven Christian. I'm a medical student. I'm a STEM educator and I'm a visual artist. And what I do is I tell immersive stories about black experiences in America. And I do that through comics and cartoons. And the purpose of my work is to not only educate, but entertain and empower those to overcome stereotypes and create opportunities for themselves. I go by the model create and conquer, which is creating opportunities that overcome stereotypes and bias. And that's what my work focuses on really decoding bias and combating stereotypes through the practice of art making and engaging with technology. And my work has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, it's been featured in HBO, it's been featured on Unity's platform, as well as social media sites and news stations. And with it, I really empower and educate and implore people to think beyond what is possible for them in hopes of inspiring others to do the same. Before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to let you know about some things. As you know, I make a lot of this stuff available for free so that you can learn and level up your skill set, you know, at a very low cost. But there are ways for you to support me. First and foremost, I'm on Skillshare. And so go to Skillshare.com slash stuck on an island and follow me and check out some of my courses that I have there. I have all the courses you see on my YouTube channel and many more. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash illtopia. Here, you could have subscriptions that are monthly or yearly, and you get access to my Discord group and a lot of sneak peeks of things that are coming out soon, from comics to new courses. You have a variety of tiers and stuff that you could support, so definitely check it out. You could go to shop.illtopia.com, and it'll take you to this wonderful page that allows you to check out all my books, coloring books, augmented reality experiences, plushies, toys, and many more. This allows you to support my work and any of the stuff that I produce and put out there. All the proceeds go to funding all these projects that I release out for free on the internet, as well as paying for medical school. Because as you know, I'm a medical student as well. Last but not least, Follow me on all the social nets. In this first lesson, we're just going to learn how to set up a Unity project by opening up a new Unity project and importing some assets in. And the goal is for us to first learn how to set up a Unity project and then also import assets. And so it's pretty simple. So let's get started. So it's time for us to make our augmented reality portal to go into exploring a virtual world, a 3D world in augmented reality. And so in order to do that, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, open up a new project. So new project, 3D, and we will say augmented reality portal. And then we'll just create the project. With our project open, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go to build settings and we're going to change it to Android. This makes it easier for development. If you're an iPhone user, you can use iOS, but for Android, we'll change that by switching the platform. And this is because augmented reality is mainly for mobile devices. So you want to change our build platform to a mobile device. After that, we got our player settings. We'll select that. We go to quality and instead of ultra, 
you want to drop it down to about medium. And then last but not least, we go to our player settings and we want to get rid of this thing called Vulcan. We don't want that. We could also get rid of multi-threaded rendering. So just turn that off as well. The next thing is go to IELTS 2 CPP, change that to that. We want to go to um, Android 9, and that is about it for all the settings that we want. You could change the company name and the product name if you want. But this sets us up for being able to create something for augmented reality. And so if you haven't done so already, this is the first step, you know, adding that to it. So the next thing that we're going to do is I have this modular city. Uh, if you have any other cities or any other 3D models you could add, you could do that yourself. We'll just go ahead and drag and drop. So now that this is done, we're going to take a look at it. Now, as you can see, it says we're missing a, a script. So what we'll do is we'll go to package manager, UD registry, and we just need pro builder. So we'll just install that. Now that probe filter is installed, now we don't get that error, and we have our city right here. Perfect. So, we imported our assets, we changed the build settings, we changed the project settings. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on to the next lesson. Now that we have that done, go ahead and give it a try. Set up a Unity project for yourself, and if you're having difficulties with it, go ahead and review the video again, and follow the steps as needed. Otherwise, we're going to head over to the next step, which is installing the Vuforia SDK and setting up our AR scene to do some augmented reality stuff. So head over to the next lesson. In this next lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Vuforia SDK to set up an AR scene so that we could create our augmented reality portal. And so the best part about it is that from this, we can learn how to set up basic AR scenes using surface tracking. In the next lesson, we're going to actually download the Vuforia SDK for our augmented reality. And so you go to developer.vuforia.com to download it. We'll just hit the downloads button and we'll choose the add Vuforia engine. Go ahead and sign up for an account or log in. It's completely free. Now, after you do that, we're going to go ahead and AR portal. Get the SDK, save it. Now if the SDK is downloaded, we're just going to drag and drop it into our project. It's going to import. Click the update. And so you know that everything is downloaded when you go to window and you see Vuforia configuration right there. Perfect. So now we're going to create a new scene and we're going to call that scene AR portal like that. And so once we have the AR portal set up, we're going to open it. And this is where we build out our AR workflow. So we're going to delete the main camera. We're going to right click, add an AR camera, click accept. Then we're going to Go to Vuforia Engine, right click it. I'm going to go down to Ground Plane. I'm going to have Plane Finder, right click, Ground Plane again, Ground Plane Stage. And so in this, we want to make sure that in our stuff, we want to have the duplicate stage off. And then the anchor behavior is going to be Ground Plane Stage. 
So that's what we want. And so when you see our ground plane stage, we have our plate right there. So now we'll just add under the ground plane stage, we'll just add a cube. And with the cube, I'll lift it up because this is a meter. So you want to have it to be about two meters tall. So we'll just say two. And so now it's a one meter by one meter by two meter tall. So this is about six feet right there. And that's a, uh, that's our, you know, person reference or six foot reference like that. Perfect. So we have our six foot reference. We have our ground plane stage, plane finder. It's on, not on duplicate stage and all that stuff like that. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and download Vuforia, download the package manager from the package manager, all the assets that you need, then create a new scene, add the plane founder, add the plane finder, the AR camera and ground plane stage, and then delete the main camera and then go ahead and save it. And this is the template for our augmented reality portal. Now that we have our AR scene set up and we have the Vuforia SDK installed, it's time for us to give it a try for ourselves. And so this is the foundation for creating surface tracking using the Vuforia SDK and Unity. And so if you need to look back at the video, feel free to. Otherwise, we can head over to the next section, which will allow us to add some 3D models to the scene. So this is one of my favorite lessons because this allows you to learn how to add 3D models to the scene so that you can bring them about in AR. And so the goal with this is to show that the versatility of augmented reality is to create immersive experiences with digital objects. And that's what we'll do. And so the next lesson that we have is we're actually going to create and set up our, uh, our 3D world to be augmented. So we're going to create a new scene and we'll just say this is AR, we'll just say a 3D world like that. We'll just open it. And so from there, what we want to do is we want to have our cube. So have that cube. And we want that to be a two meter cube and we want the, the size of it to be up more. So we want it to be up around one. I think that's a, yep. Ground level. There you go. One and then zero and zero. We want that to be centered up. So this is going to be our reference that we have for our cube. Uh, so cube reference. And this is what we're going to line up when we add our 3D world in. So the next thing that we want to do is add our prefab. So prefab for our 3D world. So place that in there. Boom. And so as you can see, this is to scale, which is great. And so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to just find a location for the experience. And so I like this idea of sort of just plopping into the world and having it essentially start. What I'll do is I will just see where we're sort of the edge cool yeah so just sort of starting say right here this looks pretty nice yeah so i'll do that i like this one this is a good this is a good way to to start right here let this be the edge of it like that. I'm just going to move this down. Let's 
just like right here. Like that. But with that, I could actually modify this. So I could open up in Pro Builder and I could just modify the plane. And in some ways, I could actually just get rid of it. So I could just delete this face. Boom. Deleted the face. Cool. And then for this edge, just bring this in more. This edge. Okay. Then more too. Like that. And so now when you walk in, you're going to have some stuff. I'll say, Boom. Go ahead, apply the overrides to that. And we have our character. Just line him up a little bit better. better on the edge right there boom at this point you should have a good foundation on how to add 3d models to your scene and more importantly how to integrate them into the augmented reality setup that we just did with the vuforia sdk and our unity setup for surface tracking and so if you need to like take a look at the video again feel free to otherwise we'll head over to Create some content containers using Pro Builder. In this section, we'll get to channel our inner magician by creating some content containers and some doors for our portal for our augmented reality space using Pro Builder. And the goal with this is to show how we're creating experiences and using the tools that we have available to create those experiences more meaningful. This reference right here is what we'll, what we'll build a door off of. And so we'll go ahead and have a plane, just a plane of reference. And so plane, boom, boom, boom. And we'll have that be uh, zero. So zero right there. And this plane, we want this to just be forward right there. So that's our ground. We'll right click and we're going to make a uh essentially just get the pro builder tools again window pro builder we'll do a shape and we'll do a door so i like doors perfect we have a door and so we'll grab that door down Then we'll move it over to where it aligns with our probability, with our reference, like that. And it does align with it. Awesome. We'll have our door. We'll hit build. And then we'll get this away. So we have our door. And now we want to add another shape. And that shape is going to be our cube. So we'll go through, get this cube. We want this to be a one by one by one, essentially. 
We'll have this be in the center here. And we'll build that. Perfect. But now with this cube, the thing we want to do about this cube is we want to make it huge. And so we'll come in, make it really big. Want to make it big on a on a variety of different uh, planes. So make it large there, make it large there. We're essentially going to make it large on both sides. We want it to cover all of the stuff. Then cover it on the bottom. Cover it on the top. Our goal is to make this be like that. So now the door. Then we have our okay. now we have our, our building and we have our block just like that. So it's all boxed in, everything looks nice. Prefab, and we'll just get rid of some of these uh, things that are just protruding out. Get rid of those things. We have a box. Get out this door. The door is exactly where I want it. I'll just move it back a little bit. So that it fits in. Like that. So I can lower the door a little bit more. And so last but not least, I can go into my Pro Builder and with the shapes, I could create a little inset. So by selecting one of the shapes, I could go in and I can subdivide the face. that and I could subdivide this face and then I could actually create a little window here. So I'll subdivide the face again and I'll select this face right here and I'll just lower it down and then I'll hit this I'll make it smaller. Make it smaller. Boom. Just like that. And then I'll just move that where the door should be. So now that I have that, I'll go through, I'll just start making it smaller again. So again, make it smaller. Bigger than that. And I just want to make a hole. Just one hole. Oops. 
in. Make this whole. And this is going to be our hole. So I'll go ahead, delete the face. And now it's a hole that allows me to peek through the peek through the door. Just like that. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have all my clouds, I have everything that I need in my center reference. So then I have my reference cube of my door. So I'll call this my my mask cube. I have my door, I have my plane, and I have my reference cube. So I'll turn all of these in based off of my reference. My reference cube here. So all these are going to be a child of my reference cube. My door is going to be a child of it. The mask is going to be a child of it. Voila, just like that. And then in that reference cube, I'm just going to have a uh, create an empty. And that empty is going to be right at the cube. And I'll say this is the anchor. And I'll just place everything in the anchor. First, you need to just make sure that this is on the ground. Ground. I'll say, what, negative one? Where the cube should be, or the reference should be. I'll say no, I'll just say zero. That. So then we'll just have all the I will make that into a prefab. But before we make it into a prefab, I'm just going to go create folder. Folder will be material. Oh, it looks like I already have one for materials. So just delete that. And then in the materials folder, Let's create a new material and we'll just say this is going to be just you know a yellow door or something like that so call this golden door golden door and we'll have it be like a yellow and we'll have the metallic shininess and everything be up so it's all shiny and we'll just add that to the door there and then add that to the ground plane and then lastly we'll just sort of make this a little bit smaller just like that that we have that, we got this anchor. We'll turn this into a prefab again. Why not? And there we go. So we did a lot. It was a lot of stuff that we did. Uh, so go ahead and create a new 3D object, uh, create a new 3D scene, place your assets in there. Uh, create an anchor, create some reference points, and be sure to put everything together. And then I'll show you how to add a death mask and place that into the 3D world. In order for us to have an augmented reality portal that shows an immersive city that sits in the space, we had to create some containers that could actually block those things. And so after you've gone through this video, give it a try. If you need to take a look back at it, uh, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we'll head over to creating a depth mass shader that allows us to hide the container and have a portal effect.
This is going to be a real quick lesson, but it's an important one because this allows us to create a depth mask shader that allows us to hide our box to show a portal effect. And so the goal is to introduce you to shaders and how powerful they are so that we could create these immersive experiences that look real, but it's really sleight of hand. We have our door, we have our placemaker, we have our anchor as a prefab. And so now the big thing that we need to do is we need to create a new material for our depth mask. And so what we'll do is we'll go to create material and we'll call this depth mask. And what this does is it makes whatever this material is attached to, whatever game objects this material is attached to, it's going to make it invisible. And so we'll go ahead and go down to our uh, different shaders. We'll go to depth mask like that. When you click it, you know it's all invisible. So now what we do is we just take that depth mask, we place it on top of that right there, and it is invisible now. So anything that's behind the depth mask in that large square is invisible. So I'll go ahead. Hit apply. Hit the overrides. So I'll hit apply and voila. It's all done. I'll go ahead and save it. And so go ahead, add the depth mask, create a material, add it to your object, and go from there. At this point, if you've gone all the way through this video, then you see the power of shaders and how they could be used to create these crazy effects that allow us to essentially be modern day magicians. And so with that, if you need to take a look at the video again, feel free to. Otherwise, we'll head over to the last section, which is adding our city to the AR scene. So for the final step of this whole AR portal and Unity thing, we're going to add our city to the AR scene so that we could actually have something to explore. And the goal is to show how you can repurpose assets and put them in different situations so that you could have meaningful experiences with digital objects. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to just place our prefab for our anchor into our 3D AR scene. We're going to attach it to our ground plane. And the best part about it is we're going to line up our six foot reference to the reference on our ground plane so that everything lines up correctly. And so we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead, ground plane, boom, did that. zero like that and then I'm going to just increase this that over a little bit perfect and then I'm going to actually hide the reference. So now we have the anchor and we're just going to save it. So this is what we have. It's a six foot, as you can see here, six foot reference. We've got the door and essentially it's a golden door to a new world. So hit the save button and we've placed everything together. So anything under the ground plane stage right here is going to be uh, 
is going to appear. And so the last thing that we need to do is we need to go into our OpenVuforia settings. We need to add a license. And so I'll just log in. We'll go and get a basic license. We'll just say AR Core Tool. And then I'll select it, copy it, paste it, and we'll save and save the project. And so now that we have that, we placed our, our experience. It's time to go ahead and build it to our device. So I'll go ahead, open the scene, add an open scene to it. Then we have the Android. So I'll just hit build. And we will just save it in the right folder. So AR or tool zero one. I'll save it. And so we've gone through a buttload of stuff that we can introduce into this section. It's a lot of stuff to unpack, but mainly the goal was for us to find ways to integrate pre-existing assets into an augmented reality scene using surface tracking. And now that you have that done, you could take a look back at the video to try new things, or we could head over to testing it out.
as you know, I make a lot of this stuff available for free so that you can learn and level up your skill set, you know, at a very low cost. But there are ways for you to support me. First and foremost, I'm on Skillshare. And so go to Skillshare.com slash Stuck on an Island and follow me and check out some of my courses that I have there. I have all the courses you see on my YouTube channel and many more. You can also support me on Patreon at Patreon.com slash Iltopia. Here, you could have subscriptions that are monthly or yearly, and you get access to my Discord group and a lot of sneak peeks of things that are coming out soon, from comics to new courses. You have a variety of tiers and stuff that you could support, so definitely check it out. You could go to shop.iltopia.com, and it'll take you to this wonderful page that allows you to check out all my books, coloring books, augmented reality experiences, plushies, toys, and many more. This allows you to support my work and any of the stuff that I produce and put out there. All the proceeds go to funding all these projects that I release out for free on the internet, as well as paying for medical school. Because as you know, I'm a medical student as well. Last but not least, follow me on all the social nets.